Hello and welcome to another episode of the Director's Commentary. Today we've got a commentary for the latest and greatest. What was the name of this episode called? Year in Sport Big Mile Excursion. This was quite the adventure. We had Suko Warrior, Doug Higley, Devin Bailey, who else was there? Ron Lewis and Dustin Klein. And Abe Elkamis. This was actually like a badass crew to take on this insanely epic adventure. Without any further hesitation, let's get into it, shall we? Let me get my headphones on. Ellie just given me this cool little clapper, so I figured, hey, let's use it. And actually, it did help to put all that information on the clapper because I wasn't sure which footage this was for. Here we go. I was trying to build tension. Some kind of... You know, I have a terrible dilemma because it there was a like dilemma a and I wanted I it to be I only have a few hours tentious. Left. Where does the time go? Oh, so I much acting. I was going to be able to chill and, and rest into the new year. But, but no, no oh, time for that. Too bad. No rest for the wicked. You know, I, you see, you know, okay. I just realized that I only have a Sound. few hours left to get my Strava Did you hear it? year in sport it stopped. or my year by the numbers data to where I want them to be. Okay. I recorded all that ticking sound on my own because I wanted to build that tension. A little huh, huh, huh. I'm just trying to do different things to make the, the build up a little bit more exciting for us. And aside from being a little long-winded, I think this was uh, quite, quite helpful. And, 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 this was a sponsored video for Strava to point people to their year and numbers, which is the perfect combo because we're all looking at our year and Roman numbers anyways. So yeah, I'll, it just made sense. For me, the crew is down to get it was just like a reason to make a ride about it. In before the year closes out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And man, what are, everyone's confused on what bike to ride. It's this kind is of very wintry. true. There might be snow and no one really knows what to expect. Ron's talking about putting knobbies on, yet I think we're going to be riding mostly pavement. I kept talking about which bike I should take to Ellie, who's my wife, who I talk about all the time because she's the smartest one I know. One, nine. And she kept saying, like, you should just tell people about how nobody knows what size tires to ride. or what the, the, the fact that we were confused about the tires was interesting, she thought. And I think she's right. So that's why I made this little... This little skit. At first, I was thinking 32s yep. on Which the is true. Be the perfect I was like, bike diverge all the way. Tried, but then... I thought that maybe and the I was like, no, stinner all the way. Solution. And I actually went to the point of filling the stinner up, resealing it, or giving it some fresh sealant, pump up the tires. I was like, this is the one. And then I decided to go against it and, and ultimately ended up on the diverge. Because <laughs> this is a big ass day. It was like over a hundred mile day and it's all pavement, basically all pavement. So road bike, duh. Or there is that other bike that has 38s. Ooh, that new bike. What is that? So this was my little move to to tease out. What is this new rig? It's not just Villier over here every day anymore. No, no. We've got some swerks in the works. But what if all the roads disappear on the way there and then we're only forced to ride gravel? And what if it's not just any kind of gravel? It's like really... Well, it I thought that cutoff would be funny, but I don't know if it worked. And also, th with the next frame to this yellow Villier bike, I should have been in uh, the other side of the frame. I think it would have had a little bit more impact. But I was going to say, oh, I haven't ridden that bomb track since I did the rematch with St. Helens with Doug. That bike is so wonked out right now. It's got a 2.8 in the front and this fucking weird suspension fork, and I just don't want to ride it. <laughs> it's hard to ride right now. <laughs> Oh God! And ugh. okay, let's get back to where we where were we? Okay, here we go. You guys, do make sense. That Shall bike we? is fun as hell to ride too. Hot Rod Six Machine. Here we go. Ride to the ride, ride to the meetup. I mean, everyone rode to the meetup. And then there were three. I think it was like eight miles to the meetup. So far, we have quite the spread in bicycles on this ride. Doug is on his not a big deal giant, which is actually a limited edition. Only 15 in the world made giant Defy. True story there. Last time I rode with Doug on his Defy, he was like, oh, it's it's not a big deal. It's a whatever bike. And then when I saw him today for this ride, we he was like, oh, actually, my buddy saw the video and was like, hey, did you know that that Defy is actually super limited? There's only like 15 in the world and you have one. <laughs> 
I love that story. He had no idea, but he's got like a really cool, very hard to find bike. Cool. And Ron is on on his newly updated specialized cross. Newly updated with GRX. Knobbies on it. He just put GRX on it. One by something. I kind of wish I was on the fast bike and on the chunky bike. Which is the Diverge was both bikes in between. So I, I was, in the end, the Diverge was the choice. That bike's, I love that fucking bike too. It's so light, but it's kind of like a plus-ish road bike. Not very good for gravel, but really good for stuff like this. I and then I just figured split the difference right down the middle. 32s, carbon yep. fiber. Can't get much more than 32. Hauling balls down this wet hill. <laughs> oh, and it was, uh, Doug said clear. That's why I said thank you. He's like, clear. I don't hammer oh, often, but when I do. Doug's dietary influence on everybody. Twice in this episode we find out about it. Ron loves the hammer d hammer time now. This is how scared I was this morning. They're to make my toes stronger. They're like heating toes. pads. What flavor is it? It's espresso. espresso. It's, it's from a, a package that I bought from Doug. I got a couple bottles of the big. Doug's hammer. got all Are the weird holding? chemicals. Let me get a lid. It's everybody working. We were talking about drugs and lids. So that was like a funny inside joke throwback that made it uh, into the video that was actually humorous outside of the inside of the. Okay, no one really. Let's just. Come with here. Semi skinny. Knob patrol. Those skinny, were fat skinny. skinnies. You know, Knobby Bobby. Skinny skinny. Chunky monkey. Doug had the smallest tires with 28s. You were gonna cross this freeway real quick. Dude, that freeway was blasting with cars like a second before I recorded or before that clip was edited. Like to get the shots of all the of the group. Passing through. Hup, 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 hup. Doug hauling balls all the time. Audio was fucked. Also, Devin went on and on and on about something else before he started talking about the bars. I had to make him stop. I was like, dude, can you just tell me about the bars? Like, take two. My videos are only like five minutes long. <laughs> So I, I sculpted what I could out of it, and the audio was trashed anyway. So I was like, God damn it. Oh, look at how fast Devin accelerates in this tuck position right here. He he accelerates. Look at that. And then I'm saying, holy shit, look at how fast he's going. It was very impressive. Those two shots, I sacrificed myself. I was like, okay, you guys go up ahead, and I'll stay here and shoot this. I feel like those shots were very average, and then it always takes me like an, a half an hour to catch up with everybody again. <laughs> oh. The theme of the video was like, hey, let's keep going. Like, we don't know how far we're going, so we're gonna just like, so then I ke just kept asking everybody, should we keep going? And I thought Ron's response was pretty funny there. He said, maybe. Maybe. Good answer. Hey, Abe, how many miles did you ride this week? Hopefully, Abe is a beast. I'll be at 200. Holy shit. Jesus. Boy, I'm almost reaching my goal of the year. Well, it was 10,000 miles. Hey, Only who else has done 10,000 miles last year? That's impressive. That is a shitload of miles. Good lord. Good lord. We passed this. This is called Vista House right up here that we, we end up at right behind me. That's, it was, that's Vista House. Look at that shit. Blowing my bike around. Should we keep going? Yeah, mustard that one. Again, go ahead, guys. I'll get the shot. Kind of worth it. I got some photos out of that one. That was, they worked. Oh, do you see the, <laughs> I put a subliminal subscribe sticker on the fork. I don't think it's working. <laughs> I am, I do think this song is working, though. Look at that map. Let's just take it in. I think I want to make a neck gator with that map after it's been completed, which we'll see shortly. Proud of that one. I'm tired, but I think we just gotta keep trudging. Okay, get those miles in. Yeah. Easy, man. It's true. It's all worth it if it's easy, right? I, I like this response. <laughs> He's like, it's never worth it if it's easy. I'm like, uh, yeah, well, mm. <laughs> Should we keep going? Keep going. Okay. We're almost there. Okay. Another 70 miles. Okay. Oh, oh, and the concept for this whole ride was all Suko. That's who was talking right there. 
his idea was, hey, let's ride to Cascade Locks, which is where we're going, to eat at this fish market called Brigham's Fish Market, maybe something. And it's just a des- like a food destination, a 50 mile each way food destination. I love that concept. So he kept talking about chowder and it kind of didn't make sense with the story, but it kind of did. So some of them I had to leave, some of them I had to take out and some of them I left in, but yeah, but he got chowder. I got this quesadilla and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So it's, uh, what's that? So many waterfalls right now. The elixir of life, is, is it shut off? Yeah, we're gonna, gonna die, okay. okay. <laughs> Do you wanna die first or should I? No, I'm gonna eat you. you. You need to die first so I can eat your body. Okay. I feel like Doug has gotten a little more uh, used to the camera. He's got some good lines these days. I, I was impressed with that. I, I'm very proud of that whole segment right there. I thought it was funny. Oh, and then, so we couldn't get water at the water fountains, but I knew about this thing and everybody was like, can we drink this? <laughs> I've had it twice now on two different occasions and a-okay. Uh, but to get it, you got to earn it. Cause look at this. Yeah. Good thing I had those waterproof water gloves on. It's kind of fun though. You're like, I don't know, getting water in the middle of nowhere. Kind of the middle of nowhere. A lot of bike path on this one. The with a lot of blowdown. That's true. And then look at all the uh, mudslides here. This is part of the bike path. You just have to Probably walk down some stairs. This, there you go. You? Dude. I'm gonna put this cone here so that we don't run into that pile of dirt. That was Doug. I thought <laughs> that was so funny. I like that. So many trees down. It actually, just earth. Look at, oh, oh god. Devin is a gnarly ball guy. Devin's always pushing it. Those are t- so three of those total, I think. There may- maybe four. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this mid-ride deliciousness. It was good. Smoked salmon quesadilla. Look at that Cheese view. Run. Okay, word to the wise: Do not eat a shitload of cheese mid-ride. I mean, even when I say it, I I think to myself, duh. Like, what are you crazy? <laughs> It was, it was, God, it was hard riding back for the first like hour, maybe hour and a half. Yeah, it was, whoo. And then we topped it off with coffee before we left too. Which I'm just maybe saying, that helped. A way to top off a My favorite spot. thing in the world right there. Chocolate chip cookies oh. in coffee, hey, hey, espresso. Did you notice that a lot of people it. were calling your fanny pack a, a flesh colored fanny pack? Because it might be. It used to be high vis orange and now it's flesh colored. Yes, it might be. <laughs> people talk about it all the time and then we were joking that we should that we should do um well someone was like you should do a line on it so it looks like his butt and i was like oh i got you on this one you got to do the y so then it looks like the tramp stamp into the crack tmi uh, i think that's just right yeah <laughs> it looks so amazing oh and when he wears that thing it's super western style he's got it all slinging off the side of his hip and stuff it looks kind of cool <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, it's too full. Sorry about that. Oh, my God. Bring the blow down. Gotta go down the stairs. Gotta go up the stairs. All the views. Mustard is the that new thing mustard. is dope. <laughs> there are a lot of, like, hipster cars like that. Uh, you might know someone else who owns one of them. But there's tons of them around the Pacific Northwest Portland area. Sometimes I'm like so stoked on them and sometimes I'm like just like really annoyed by them. I don't know. But they're they're visually stimulating either way. Oh god. Lots of roots. That's what the old oh god was for the root god. Suko, I feel like we're hammering. Are we hammering? We're definitely hammering for some reason. And we're all full of like chowder and things. Chowder. Why are we hammering? Uh I know why we were hammering, because Ron and Devin decided to get beers midway and it gave them some like liquid courage and they were so hyped. They were just blasting the first, yeah, maybe an hour after we left, they were doing good. And then it caught up to them and then they were way in the back, which we saw coming, but it was kind of funny. It's like, I think this will bounce back on them. Beer mid ride. No, thank you. Although apparently I think tequila is okay. Why are they Russian? I don't it's not the race, but they're still Russian. I love I this. I mean, they're just, they're just highly motivated. I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Devin did the Russian voice. Oh, in a previous video, 
and I was asking him about his wallet. He had he brought his whole wallet in this giant fanny pack, which he's using on this ride. And I was like, dude, you don't need all your whole wallet on the on a bike ride. You only need a few cards. And he's like, well, I was rushing, so you know, I was you know thinking blah 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 blah. blah. And uh, I was like, dude, do the Russian. Actually, I just kept saying to him, I was Russian. I don't know. So f I think it's so good. So more Russian, Devin, more Russian. And it's R U S H I N. <laughs> Dev, uh, Abe is such a beast. This climb. Look at that guy. It's fucking brutal. This is Doug. Those two. In front of the pack right there. Animals. A little bit. I play that up a little bit just to give it a little like. It sucks and it's miserable, but sometimes I give it a little bit extra to make it, you know, dramatic effect. The ever so famous. On the beat. That's a true point. Is. I think we're probably gonna survive. <laughs> but who knows? I love that. Uh, Doug automatically said, I cut it out. Just it didn't work in the story. He was like, no, we're gonna die out here. <laughs> or we're not gonna make it. It was, it was funny, but it just didn't make the cut, buddy. <laughs> Story time? It's perpetuum time. Oh, okay, perpetuum. Doug's influence on everybody. Doug doesn't eat solid food on rides. So at the food stop, he ate nothing. He only eats perpetuum, which is like a powdered meal replacement thing. It probably metabolizes amazing. I should try it. It just, I haven't done it yet. But so Doug has to sacrifice one of his water bottles to just be a food bottle, like one's food and one's water. And then he carries an extra liquid thing in his back pocket, which is where people would put food. He just flips the script on everything. So I thought it was hilarious that fucking Devin here is decided to drink Perpetuum in the middle of the ride. I was like, what? Everybody's on the shit. But I think Dev Devin's move is smart because he adds it when he needs it he doesn't just have it the whole time but also Devin was eating food and beers and everything so i i, I don't know what's what's the right answer oh, like this guy this is the only way we're gonna get home bk this is my secret sauce it's powder yeah it's magic powder magic powder put it in your nose or in your mouth should we keep going for sure i kept tr they i kept saying that i was like hey should we keep going should we keep going and they, uh, they, I was like, can you just say yes? Because I, <laughs> I just wanted it to progress the story. We finally got it. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, riding with me, it ain't, I'm always asking people to do weird things. Hey, go pick that up again. Do that again. Climb back up that hill. Tailwind on the way back was awesome. So much tailwind. Oh, hauling balls. Yeah, baby. Look at how purple that thing is. Lining him up. Uh, and then did you notice before with the nuts, he like showed it in his mouth. He did that with his purple tuber too. Uh, it's like his thing. I, I cut it out. I don't know. I kind of, whatever. And then Ron was so stoked about this liquor store. This corner store also having liquor. In Oregon, you have to have a liquor store. But for some weird reason, this place is like the general store. They sell gas, alcohol, potatoes, everything. And so he was stoked to go there. And then he went in and I was, I was fucking stoked. He got tequila. I love tequila. It's so peppery and delicious. So I just wanted to try it. I don't know. Drinking mid ride, I think is not a smart move. <laughs> it probably just depends on your constitution, but you know, uh, hmm. I'm not saying I won't ever do it again, but it, 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 it I felt it. It worked against me at one point. That's will go great with my tube. But if you have to do a big chunk of descending and you're a little bit nervous about it, I think that just doing a shot of some kind of liquor is not the worst idea because it just kind of rounds out those edges of nervousness. Not to the point where you have like liquid courage. That's too far. Just a tiny bit where you just you just relax a little bit. It's kind of awesome. Sure. So I would assume all downhill mountain bikers are alcoholics. <laughs> it's time for another round. And I thought that was funny too. The illusion of warmth. I was like, oh, how poignant. 
Devin, so wise. Round of so name wise. that cheese featuring Mr. One I had some Ron very delicious cheese that I brought, and I wanted funky. Ron to try and like figure out what it was. Valdiasta, which is a sort of like a, an Italian fontina. I don't it's, know what the hell he's saying. It's creamy. It's what? a little soft, but it's also huh? been bib conditioned. So this you've been true. riding for 75 miles. <laughs> so it's been pot. sort of like crotch pot cooked a little bit. <laughs> but it has a little yeah, bit background of background like yammering. Which like an Italian fontina. <laughs> wouldn't be outside the question. Okay. It's pretty earthy. No. Very yeah, mushroomy. Okay. Would you pair it with uh, Jose Cuervo like tequila? Fuck no. <laughs> Love it. That is hilarious. Yet, yet we did, didn't we? Yeah, baby. One more water stop here. Oh, this is where we siphon the freshest of municipal water. It's not municipal. It's like legit spring um, water. But it just looks weird out of this fucking pipe. Drink it in. Come for the water, stay for the journey. All the good water spots, because they're all coming off of the mountain, and it and rains all the damn time in the winter. Vibes. I shouldn't have done that tequila. No, you shouldn't have. <laughs> okay, so on second thought, Doug said it's good to drink tequila on the ride, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling fine now. And then he went on to say, no, don't drink it, you're stupid. He was making fun of us. <laughs> Doug did not drink tequila with us. Oh, here we go. Oh, those are so good. Garlic and I got those from my dad almonds. for Christmas. He sent. He always so sends a box good. of snacks. Oh my god. They were fucking good. I want some right now. In fact, hey, give me those almonds. That'll do it. That's That'll a rivet, an unused rivet actually. But how dramatic was that looking? Oh my gosh. Note to self: take the tube out of the patch kit because it has a big hole in it. Honest note to self. Hey guys, where are you going? I did, and, and I start talking to myself, oh, and everyone just starts leaving. Goodness. They're Dear like son, this guy's fucking talking to me. Get that shot. How's that shot? Is it a good shot? He's taking a picture. I don't know. That, that clip wasn't even that funny. I just. Later, players. Now it's dark, just barely. Dark around 4:30 p.m. for us during this. Okay. Zorched. Hey, the new studio. What do you think, huh? I'm feeling it. Hey, do you oh. notice the little uh, face wow. above my head there? I changed that depending on the yeah. scene, if I'm Ooh. motivated enough. I don't you have one right now. You never know what you're going to get with these guys. You never know. <laughs> Big shout out to those players for slogging I never say playa. I was that what tired. Magical experience. Transformative transformation. I thought the blinking light was a light cool on touch. A little bit. You want, can you shut the lights off before you leave? I thought that was and funny too. Nobody numbers, else is. Because they did Where actually the support that yeah, video. Ready for this? Thank you, Strong. No, well, well, Let's do cow. some more. Oh, seven shall we? hours, 37 <laughs> minutes. Dude, time. seven hours? That's like a fucking full work day. And 12 miles. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And 6,100. <laughs> Let's try to add in the dumbest things I can. Feet of elevation. 6,000 feet, which is great. It wasn't that, that crazy. Just, they call that bronze that ratio. Help, uh, that, should, that should do. And if Golden ratio would be like 10,000 feet. Or my year by the numbers. I kept calling the it the year by the numbers because it makes sense to us because we know the ride by the numbers. And the Strava was like, yeah, keep calling the year in sport the year by the numbers. They're like, it's fine, but it's not right. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 trust me, trust me. All the people that know the videos, they know what I'm saying. I'm talking to them. I'm, we're just speaking a different language. It means the same thing. Trust me, it's gonna be fine. Down below. And while you're at it, I I'm really curious to see how you did I, this you know, year. I also, I wanna say, I my numbers are way fucking wrong. I, I'm super like lazy or sloppy about uploading and keeping like on top of it. And then when I made this video, I was like, fuck, there's so much, so many rides that I didn't like properly, like I don't even know if it syncs up right all the time and I just don't really care. And then now I make this whole video like, what did you do against what I did? And I'm like, well, I made it look like I did a hell of a lot less. These are excuses. These are nothing but excuses. I have no excuse. If you're feeling up to it, share that data. I'd love to see it. Tag me if you're comfortable with Yo, it. Yo, who's got 10,000 miles, like you see, animal? You know, how did you do? Jesus Christ. And hey, we got to be proud of these numbers. We put our blood, sweat, I like and tears into these numbers. We do have to be proud of them. It's true. That's like the only representation for all the crazy shit that we do that takes so much time. We get this like illusionary stack of data. It's like, here's what I did, but it is also a uh, proof of your commitment to 
cycling or whatever your sport is. I'm assuming it's cycling because we're what this is all very a bike ch centric channel here. Oh, and the year in sport thing. If you've done it on Strava, you should do it. It's fucking cool. There's all these graphics. Uh, it has like what sport you've used. And mine was like cycling 100%. I do nothing else but ride a bike. Even when I go jogging, I don't even put it on Strava. <laughs> Uh, so hence the hence the sloppiness about the data. I okay. mean, there was a Just, lot of tears sorry. for today's numbers. Hey, here's to you for your year in numbers. Huh? You have no idea how long I just your commitment to cycling, saying like things like buddy. that to find the right thing. Like, wow, well, you're be proud of it. Oh. Gotta oh, be committed. Good. I don't know. Oh, that's just right for that. And before right, I right go, balance. I've got to give a quick year end international oh, player. People haven't been doing the shout outs. Real shout out. Two. Here's a one the last one, one for the year. Andy B. What up, Andy? Right, I love those. I'm just saying. Proud of them. Look at how blown out that shot is. Shout out to WTF. Strava for making this what video happen. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, blah. Check out oh, I didn't know what else to say. Where I think I'm going to do a breakdown of my outfit. For, oh, I got to do that. For the members. Thanks for the because reminder. It's I got the data. Great huh. There's still one more thing I've got to film. The video like just a little too bloated. So The members probably don't even care. Until next time, dear friends. Busy work for me. Signing off. Toodaloo, buddy. Awkward. You just, you, all the lights are still on. What do we... How do we... Okay, just, just get out of the frame. I think that's funny as hell. I don't know. I mean, that's just me. But, you know, I'm having a good time with it. I hope you're having a good time, too. I'm just saying. There you go. This was the latest director's commentary for... I don't know the name of that episode, but it was a good one. Uh, hopefully, I'll put a card there so you can watch it if you haven't already seen it. This is Dustin Klein, your virtual friend, some guy in the internet, and something else. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead and hit the like button. Why not? Huh? Just like that other guy said. If you haven't subscribed, well, I, I'm assuming that actually if you're watching this, you've probably subscribed because this is this is deep down the rabbit hole here. This is yeah, you're you're in at this level. And if you're this far in this level, I think you're a level seven Phaeton. Check out the uh Decline site. We got all these dope ass stickers you can peruse around or become a member, some whatever, or don't do shit. I don't care. I've got nothing but love and respect for you either way. Thanks for hanging out. If there's anything that you liked here, go ahead, say something in the comments. Just let me know. Tell me to stop yammering so much or to yammer more. I don't know. Whatever you, any kind of info, any kind of feedback. That's the word I'm looking for. Let me know. I want to know. Got to know. All right, dear friend, Dustin Klein, signing off. And then you got to stop recording to make